<laughs> why is there a euro dollar market? Um, well, there's a demand. There's certainly a demand because the dollar is the world reserve currency. There's a demand by people to have deposits in dollars who aren't in the United States. It's very common that traders in, in I don't know, Japan and, and uh, Argentina, you know, might be invoicing all of their trade and actually making all payments in dollars, even though neither one of them has any offices in the United States. Okay? Well, that's, that's a reason. Now, you could be doing this all through a bank in New York, through accounts in, in city New York, okay? but the Fed doesn't kind of want you to do that. Okay, it, it, it would prefer, in fact, that you do this offshore. It wants to focus on control of domestic credit. Okay, so there's this separate world outside in the, 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 the international dollar reserve world, okay, where people are using the dollar uh, in order to make payments. Now, I've emphasized several times now for two weeks that once you're talking about a payment system, you're talking about a credit system. Okay. That the way, in order to create a flip, an elastic payment system, it has to be so that people who are running deficits have some way of borrowing from people who are running surpluses, and that that's, there's a credit element to that. Okay. So it's not just that everyone wants to have deposits okay, in order to make payments to each other. They also want to have loans. Okay. They also want to be able to borrow and lend. And from the point of view of Credit Lyonnais, they actually want matched book. They want the, the, these things to be equal so they don't have any currency exposure because they do all of their profit calculation in francs or, I guess, euros today. Okay? And uh, so they would like to have, to have a balanced book that there's as many dollar assets as there are dollar, dollar liabilities. The euro dollar market rose up initially because there were credit controls, um, capital controls, controls of international flows of capital as a, after World War II. Um, and large corporations said, you know, that might be fine for mom and pa, but it's not fine for me. And so they, they did business with each other in London, okay, which is where the euro dollar market sort of has its center instead of in New York. And it was a way of evading some of the capital controls that are happening in the United States. And the United States let them. Um, and in fact encouraged them to, to, to do that. But eventually those capital controls all broke down and the market continued to thrive and Bretton Woods broke down. Um, and euro dollar market grew to be larger than the Fed funds market okay? uh, by, by an order of magnitude, very large. There's a lot of trade in the, euro dollar, in the euro dollar market. So much so that before the crisis there was some thought that which is the tail and which is the dog? You know, is the Fed funds market the market for dollars, okay, or is the or is the euro dollar market the market for dollars? And you couldn't tell, and you couldn't tell because, you know, they traded at the same rate. They traded at the same rate. The crisis revealed, okay, there's a big difference, big difference, okay. The Fed funds market is like the real market. These are real dollars, okay. These are connected to the Fed, and the euro dollar market is a credit extension of that. Okay, in terms of the hierarchy, the euro dollar is market is below the Fed funds market. The Fed funds market is trading in the reserves of the, of, of the Fed. So nobody has any questions about that anymore. I don't think so. But there were plenty of people, and I was one of them, actually, before the crisis, who saw the volume in the euro dollar market. And I talked to the people in the New York Fed, and they're worried about controlling the Fed funds rate. Right? for domestic purposes. And so they see the euro dollar rate and they're like, you know, everyone they're dealing with, you know, can, the big banks can all borrow either in the Fed funds market or in the euro dollar market. So, and you can't control, you can't control the euro dollar market. So they were worried about losing control. Well, they got control. They got control back in the crisis, okay? Because nobody, the euro dollar market froze up and the Fed funds market didn't, okay, because the Fed supported the Fed funds market. And everyone remembers that now. 